Welcome back to this life of mine and thank you for watching another video. So today we are upstairs. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me just to clean and organize the bedrooms. We have been working on downstairs for like the past week because we've had to endure like a lot of challenges downstairs. Like for instance, we had a pipe burst in our wall and now there's a huge hole in our bathroom wall. So I have since like cleaned up downstairs and now I'm just taking a break and I'm just trying to focus on all the areas that we have upstairs that really need my attention. We have laundry everywhere, things are completely disorganized, and I am just feeling really cluttered, and we have a lot of things coming up in the future. So today we're gonna take the time out to focus on these areas and just bring them back to life. At this very moment, I cannot tell you how many days it's been since I've been upstairs and have been able to clean up. All I know is that I did clean upstairs before Christmas, and we let the kids bring their Christmas toys upstairs, and it was going good for about a night, but the next day, whenever they start to pull everything out, of course, their rooms are destroyed. And on top of that, they also had their cousin visit them, so honestly, it was kind of expected, but their rooms are completely destroyed. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to get our bedroom cleaned and the kids' bedroom cleaned we have a lot of different things going on within the next few weeks and I just want to take the time to really focus and attack these areas because like I said I don't know how many days it's been since I've been upstairs to actually clean I did share the motivation with you guys the very last time I was upstairs cleaning so right now I'm just going to share with you guys how everything is looking since the last time I shared that video. I do usually clean like in between, but we've had so many different things going on downstairs that I haven't had the time to focus on upstairs. There's like a huge dehumidifier in our bathroom downstairs. So that's why in my last video that I shared with you guys, I just focused on getting downstairs together. And today I'm gonna to focus on getting upstairs together because there is just a huge mess that I have to tackle, And this cannot wait another day. So I'm gonna be sharing London's room first here's like just an overview that's London's room here's the hallway so we have a box right here that I'm going to unpack Jake one was kind enough to bring me like some cleaning supplies so I have this right here and then I have a basket of toys that I had downstairs in the living room because we try to keep a basket downstairs so we can put them all in a basket and bring them upstairs but this is how their room looks so this basket has not been emptied since I brought it upstairs so while the kids are gone i'm just gonna try to get their bedrooms cleaned here's london's disaster and then this trash bag that we have in the hallway it isn't full yet so i'm just going to try to put all the trash that i can in here as y'all can see over there in our room jake one's in there right now we have some clean laundry on the bed we have some clean laundry up there in the window and then down here on the floor we just have some dirty laundry that was actually clean but now it's been mixed up so we have to get that sorted out and then we also have the boys room we haven't taken their bunk bed out yet we're gonna wait until after jonah's birthday to get their whole room redone so it'll be like a whole surprise but here's their room completely destroyed as well like we well it's not that bad honestly the curtain rod is knocked down on the ground um some of the well no it's not that bad i just have to strip everything wash everything and then, oh, shoot. and then, oh shoot, goodness. So I just have to strip everything, wash everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the floor picked up. 
over here in our bedroom just to show y'all like a little bit more our closet is completely destroyed like we have a lot of pillows have some valentine's pillows that i pulled out and i would also like to thank lifewit for sponsoring a portion of today's video i'll be sharing an honest review and unboxing of our amazon finds we were able to get a good start on organizing our closet and even have all of our pillows that we need for our new bed setup so make sure you guys stick around because i'm sharing organizing tips and tricks that i have not only for our closet and bedroom but also for our kids along the way like even here on the wall i guess like something got spilled on the wall so back here on the wall is like oh my god it's like disgusting too and it was like that downstairs in our living room i don't even know what it is but i have to get that clean too and then like i said i just need to vacuum get some organizational things done we have the dirty laundry right here and then here's like a better look at london's room so we have a lot of toys over here and then all of her clothes hangers are in her closet. Her cube organizer has so much fingernail polish on it. I don't even know what's gonna happen here. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna dress her like all of that is fine, but we really just need to get the floor picked up and all of the small pieces of trash. So as you guys can see, this is exactly why I need to go ahead and clean and organize and try to get some things together. I'm sure by the time I get the kids' rooms figured out and we work on them, there will be so much more that I have to clean and organize. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this straightened up so I'm not so overwhelmed and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Here in London's room, I picked up her floor first. I just want to see that first step to freedom in here. She has so many small toys, paper, hair accessories, and I just didn't want to keep stepping over them. Y'all, I did bend down to smell her rug because it was wet and I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't something else other than what it was, but it turned out to be lotion. But for Christmas, her Christmas gifts really consisted of more dolls, dollhouse toys, and other hair accessories that she can have and play with. Some of them are super tiny and some are big. So before Christmas, we tried to go through and get rid of any extra toys. And before moving in, we tried to donate some. She still has a ton of toys, but we're gonna organize them all in her cube organizer. And so far, everything has a place and is really nice to see.
London has some doll toys and accessories here on her dresser, so I'm going to be putting the super tiny accessories in Ziploc bags for the time being so they don't get lost. A trick I learned is to always take advantage of the extra drawer space your children have. For instance, London only uses three of her drawers to hold all of her clothes, so for one of her extra drawers, I'm going to be using this for sheets and pillowcases that are strictly for her. Well, I'm not going to. I've always done this. And the other drawers are going to be filled with organizers to hold her super tiny toys that goes to her Barbie stations. We haven't yet added those organizers, but this is what I am wanting to do because I feel like this is going to implement a really great system for her, and she'll be able to put this things exactly where they need to go and we won't have to worry about them being all over the floor or also being seen whenever she's not playing with them cuz i need your love and baby and never let me down let me down let me down i'm your song and you're playing on my melodies there's no one else cuz baby we got chemistry Today I was able to take advantage of London's cube organizer once again. Once I finished getting rid of the polish and also getting rid of any small broken toys, I wiped it down and then the new toys and the dolls were able to fit. A trick I have when your kiddos have a lot of toys that may be different in shape or size that probably doesn't flow with their room decor is to easily camouflage it the best way you can. We picked up this cube organizer and the bins from Target a little over a year ago and it's been a great addition to London's room. We were able to keep her toys organized and at the end of the day, it is aesthetically pleasing so her room flows in accordance to her personality. I removed the polish the best way I could. A trick I have for this is using rubbing alcohol and cotton swabs. I didn't have the cotton swab, so I used an eraser pad. I did use rubbing alcohol, but it was rubbing the paint off with it, so I had to scratch it to get it to come up without damaging it. I wouldn't recommend this because it'll damage your nails, like seriously. I recommend getting an easy cleaning tool to help you scrape things like this up without damaging your nails. I got most of it off, but when the paint started to come up, I had, I had to stop you guys. My husband and I will touch up the spots when we can and when it's time to touch up spots throughout our apartment. So I just kept cleaning and was happy about the polish that I was able to remove. Here's a quick look inside London's bins. We've had these for over a year, so it's almost time to switch these out, but they currently hold her dollhouse furniture, books, her cash register, any extra toys and accessories, 
all of her bears and then finally her dolls doll clothes and hair accessories and her personal hair box that she has on the shelf Here's another quick look at the polish that we removed today. It didn't come up 100%, but we'll touch it up the next time we're in here. Once I got done with this, I just want to go ahead and put her bows on her bow organizer. Her aunt bought this for her, y'all, I think on her first or second birthday. So we've had this for a very long time and we do intend to keep it because London loves her bows. But I'm just gonna hang this up right below the elephant picture in her bedroom. I thought it was a super cute ad and it just made it, it just stood out in her room. We really love it. So London got glitter stars for her bedroom for Christmas. I remember having these as a kid as well. My sister and I, we would stay up and talk all night y'all looking at these stars and we really enjoyed it. Today I wanted to get these put up for London. It wasn't really hard at all. I just had to place some double sided sticky tabs on them and then I put them where I wanted. London really loves her stars and since we put them up y'all, she's been in her room, laying in her bed and looking at them as she watches TV. I think we scored a win today y'all, so I was really excited. Here in London's closet, we don't have much. We just try to keep all of her dollhouses and we'll store the toys that we only pull out on occasion, like if she had friends over to play with. Now, if it's her and her cousin, they just pull out everything, you guys. You guys see that. But moving forward, we're just going to keep it just like this. We're probably not gonna do too much in here aside from add all of her winter clothes and hang any other clothes that don't fit into the dresser.
Here in our boys room, they received a lot of small toys too. And unlike our daughter, our boys toys only consist of the things we are super scared to step on at night. So their organization is a little bit more intense and a little bit more in depth. I'm picking up everything that they have from the floor, organizing it, throwing away any small broken pieces and getting everything from underneath their bed. Underneath our boys' bed, we keep their superheroes and their Legos. That's my organizing trick for boys. Make under bed storage for Legos and superheroes, or you can use compartments to organize. That way, it's super easy and convenient for you and for your boys. Whenever I am picking up the boys' toys, I love to just implement the slide and go system. I just pick the toys up off the floor, and then I just put them in the tub, and I slide, and I go. Slide them underneath the bed, and go on to the next step. Today, we're doing things a little bit different, but that's just a little system that I have to to keep myself going and to keep myself in good spirits whenever I'm cleaning their toys but today I'm going to be moving the bins over to their closet because I have to make sure that everything is organized as it should be Cause that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always You are my world in every place It's the things I do We have the tub and bin system for our kids so we can try to implement the one tub in, one tub out system. Some weeks it's a success, but sometimes we have what we see today, which is pretty normal on busy weeks to see this. But this system is so helpful for our babies. They have a lot of small toys and a lot of big toys that they get overwhelmed with and won't even play with on occasion because of it. So with doing this, it helps them and I'm going to keep doing this because they deserve to have an organized space that they're comfortable with and they love whenever I organize everything Thing and they just get to come in here and play and see everything that they have. The tub system that we try to implement for the kids also teaches them that they don't have to keep every single thing that they have because whenever all of these tubs and bins and drawers are full, we do not get anything else until we start to get rid of some things. That way that they know they cannot collect every single thing that they have.
Here in the boys' closet, we have a plastic storage bin of five drawers. We keep the boys' toys organized in here by category. Before, we would keep the toys all together in storage bins, you know, just randomly. But the boys had a hard time on a daily basis finding toys, so we organized it like this, and the rest has been history. We have dedicated areas for reading, playing, and watching TV. And in their drawers, we have it organized according to small random toys, cars, dinosaurs, and wrestling man. The boys had a lot of board games and Legos that we usually put together with them. So a trick that I have to free up some space on the bookshelf is to stack board games or Lego boxes and things like that in the closet. We do have wall shelves that we've had for years for the boys books, but we'll get them put up in the coming weeks. Right now we're not going to put them up because of the bunk bed, but we can add them once we get the bunk bed taken down and we get their new bed put in and their new dresser. So before I had moved on to any other room, I felt like I had done so much and I wasn't overwhelmed, but I did want to do something that would keep me in good spirits and just keep me moving. So I wanted to just hang a few pictures in our hallway just so it wouldn't look so bare. And I was really happy with the outcome. I do think I'm going to add a little bit more to this wall, maybe like a thin slim stand with a plant or something super cute along with the pictures. Or I've actually considered taking these pictures down and adding a mirror and a couple wall shelves. I thought that would be cute too.
Here in our bedroom, I wanted to start off by unboxing our own storage totes along with our new pillows. I eventually want to be able to get a good system going in our closet, but for right now, it's been taken over by pillows, sheets, comforter, and laundry that needs to be put away. So when our totes arrived, I was super excited because they are just what we need to organize most, if not all, that's in our closet, causing it to be dysfunctional. So once again, I want to say thank you to LifeWit for sponsoring today's portion of my video. The first thing I wanted to see fit in our totes were extra pillows that we had. I had these from our last sectional and I thought I would use them but I'm not. So I'm going to give them to my sister because she wanted them along with some other decor that we have. So I was able to free up some space in the closet and I used the totes for other things. For instance, we had a few storage bags in here that we've had in here ever since we moved in. Today I'm going to pull it all out, organize it within our totes, that way we can get a fresh start within our organizing system. Another tip that I wanted to share along the way that we're going to be doing to save space not only within our apartment but also within our totes, we're going to be getting some magic bags to help store things like pillows, sheets, curtains, and more. Jake and I have a lot of clothes, almost too much for the space, so we purchased those to help out with space within our apartment and also space within our totes.
to go along with our Amazon finds, we also received some new pillows that I am absolutely in love with. They are a huge game changer for us and they are so comfortable, soft, and it's a cooling pillow. Jake and I are both stomach and back sleepers, so honestly, this is a huge game changer. They honestly make us feel like we have a hotel style pillow the way it sinks in and it is still so comfortable. I'll make sure to have a link down in my description box for you guys to check it out. So this is my husband and I first time having organizing totes. In the past, we've usually just reused our bedding comforter totes and they would eventually fall apart. So we're excited and most definitely will continue to keep up with our organizing totes as we organize throughout our apartment to save space. For my shoes, since I have the most, I haven't received our shoe organizers yet, so I went ahead and kept out my boots and shoes that I wear every day, but any summer shoes or sandals I put away in a bin underneath our bed just to help save space. So I want to take the time today to fold some laundry. I didn't want to walk into the new year with too many loads behind me. During today's video, we washed our sheets and pillow covers, and I even want to make sure we got everything put away, even the laundry folded.
once I was done with folding and getting laundry put away, I want to just go through our bedroom and wipe everything down. If you're a return subscriber, then you already know that I am just using Thieves to clean all of our bedrooms today. That's my go-to cleaner and I usually always use our microfiber cloths, which I get from Amazon, so I will try to have that link down in my description box as well. So Jaquin and I, we did have lamps on our nightstand, but we have recently taken them downstairs because we like the look of them there better. But we have been looking into getting some new lamps or nightstands for our room. And I am excited to be sharing that video with you guys because Jaquin has been asking me to get a new bed, switch things up for a long time. And I think in the coming months, we're finally going to make those changes. to putting away the kids laundry and making their beds with every year it is a must we have fresh sheets pillows laundry and clothes put away and just a clean home it has always been the thing my mom has done and I want to continue to do that as well we have to tackle it all in a completely different way this year even while trying to stay afloat with the apartment bathroom updates our babies and us just feeling under the weather but I'm very happy we're able to bring in the new year with a clean happy and organized space So at the end of the night, we honestly still had a few things moving and grooving in the hallway. So I was going to go ahead and put the pillows in the totes. Draken was going to take the laundry to the washer. And then Jonah and I, we were just going to get the place all freshened and cleaned up. It was yet again a semi-long night, but it was one of those nights that we can look back and say, hey, you remember that time we stayed up to get a few things done? And it felt so good just to look around and know that we got it all done. We went to bed and it was a clean and organized space and we felt so good 
and so comfortable. Alrighty, you guys that is the end of today's clean and organize with me i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like this video and comment down below and if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video i would love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads once again i want to say thank you to lifewit for teaming up with me today to share some amazing amazon finds if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like this video and comment down below and without further ado i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye